there are challenges, uh, forces at play out there in the world uh, that make sense to take care of. Uh, as, a, as a citizen, as, as, an, uh, as a normal citizen, we do live in places and see that there's, on the one hand, the potential to have a, a good development of life as a society or as a community, and but also we witness threats and friction and, uh, in cities uh, or in the built environment, more, more, more generally speaking. Uh, and architecture has the power to translate into form all those forces. If, uh, if, if there's any power in architecture, that's the power of synthesis. Uh, the more complex the issue, the more need for synthesis. And I guess that a possible motivation would be that capacity and even that surprise that forces pushing and pulling in opposite directions can be channeled uh, in one direction through design. Um, we describe Elemental as a do tank, meaning we use the city as a shortcut towards the quality, identifying projects in the city from public space to transportation, from infrastructure to housing, uh, with which we can improve people's quality of life uh, and trying to match uh, public goods or doing public goods through architecture. If we do have a, want to have a say, if we have an idea of something that could be improved, we try to do a project. That's, that's what we know. Uh, we try to, if, if there's not the client, we try to create the client, we try to identify funds uh, and tackle issues that we think are relevant through proposals. We try to organize reality into a proposal key not just an endless diagnosis, we're not a consultant. We're, we, I guess at the very core of architecture is to organize information in a proposal key. And of course we need a lot of talking, particularly with communities. You try to, to identify with the people, what is the question more than what is the answer? Uh, what, what are the, the problems that we should be responding to? Uh, we don't expect from people the answers, to just to identify correctly what they're expecting, what they're, they're looking for, what are the issues that matter. I guess that one of the biggest challenges is to prove that architecture is an added value and not an extra cost. If design is seen as this capacity to synthesize complexity, uh, as, a, as a way of efficiency because you're doing many more things at a time than a linear speech is able to to bring to a single, in a single direction, then the efficiency achieved is an added value. I would say that another challenge is to be able to start from as far away from architecture as possible uh, on themes that any single citizen can and feels that can have a say. Uh, so the problems that architects deal with do not belong to architecture. Every single person can is interested or is, is worried or is affected by insecurity, pollution, congestion, uh, segregation, um, you name it. I mean, there, there's so many issues on, in the built environment uh, that um, sh those should be the starting points for an architect. So from that point of view, we do have an opportunity and we're living at times at times where in principle we could improve as never before the quality of life for a majority of people the scale and speed of that process will require that we develop new knowledge but the cities themselves can be the vehicle to uh, improve that quality of life, working as this shortcut towards the quality. We just need to be creative enough to identify strategically opportunities in the cities and translate that into proposals. 
I was particularly interested in challenging and questioning and, and introducing a reasonable doubt in, in the bad part of that intellectual approach. If all the jargon that was being used at the academia um, had any sense when you talk to people on the street. I just wanted to test if words like space, that for the people is the, the astronauts go, I mean, had any sense while talking about your monthly salary uh, and walking in a street that is insecure. Uh, do these two realms match? This, I guess, has been a, a kind of um, the, the thing that we have been trying to, to develop all these years, even at Elemental, is not just a, a pure humanitarian uh, approach, not at all. We've never, ever claimed any kind of moral superiority here. Uh, if anything, we just think we're good designers and we try to use our skills to issues that matter. We believe the challenges around cities are relevant, are difficult, and, um, and we want to be part of that challenge. So if you believe something, you should be courageous enough so that if the decisions that you take do not follow the herd, well, go for that. And uh, I guess we need more, more that kind of people being open to to follow their own measures of success, their own, their own beliefs. Uh, and I, I guess that it's at the very core of sustainability. It's not a technical scientific issue. We know what to do. We just need to be able to consistently uh, and courageously follow that path.